in this question there is a 300 kva 11 kilo volt by 440 volt 50 hertz delta by star transformer gave the following test results the first test result at rated voltage on no load 440 volts 21.1 ampere 1.3 kilowatt on LV side the second test result at rated current on short circuit 630 volts 15.7 ampere 3.08 kilowatt on HV side we have to calculate the rated loss per unit impedance per unit resistance per unit leakage reactance efficiency and regulation on full load at 0.8 power factor lagging in the first part we have to calculate the rated loss to calculate the rated loss first see the first see this statement the examiner has given you that at rated voltage on no load this is the test result so you can say that 1.3 kilowatt is the iron loss because this data is the data related to no load test this no load test is performed at rated voltage so this is the iron loss rated iron loss now in the second test result it is given at rated current on short circuit so this data is related to the short circuit test this short circuit test is performed at rated current so the value 3.08 kilowatt is the rated copper loss because this short circuit test is performed at rated current so this 3.08 kilowatt is the value of rated copper loss so what will be the answer of first question the rated loss will be 1.3 kilowatt plus 3.08 kilowatt so if you simplify you will get 4.38 kilowatt this is the answer of the first part of the question and if you want to find the rated loss in per unit according to the definition of the per unit you will write the actual value divided by the base value the base power is 300 kva so 4.38 kilowatt divided by 300 kva is the rated loss in per unit so the rated loss in per unit is 0 0.0146 per unit in the second part of the question we have to calculate the per unit impedance so what is the meaning of per unit impedance the meaning of per unit impedance is the actual value of the impedance divided by the base value of the impedance the base value of the impedance can be written as V rated upon I rated and you can say that I rated into Z divided by V rated is the value of Z per unit so what is the meaning of this term I rated into Z ohm divided by V rated let me explain this during the short circuit test this is the equivalent circuit of the transformer under short circuit conditions you have applied voltage and the rated current is flowing in this transformer so the voltage which you have applied for the flow of rated current in the transformer is called the VSC 
the voltage needed to circulate the full load current or rated current under short circuit conditions is known as VSC. So the value of VSC is equal to I rated into Z equivalent. So I rated into Z equivalent is the value of the VSC. This is the voltage needed to supply rated current in the transformer. So this value I rated into Z equivalent is the value of VSC. If you divide VSC by V rated, you will get you will get per unit impedance of the transformer. So for solving the second part of the question, I am going to use this formula VSC upon V rated. If you see the second test result, he has given the examiner has given that the rated current will flow on short circuit when you will apply 630 volt so this 630 volt is the value of VSC and because this short circuit test is performed on the high voltage side so you will take the rated voltage of the high voltage side that is 11 kilo volt I think it is clear to you because this short circuit test is performed on high voltage side so the rated voltage of the high voltage side will be taken into consideration to find out the per unit impedance so in this way you can get the value of the per unit impedance equals to 0 0.0573 per unit in the third part of the question we have to calculate the per unit resistance how to calculate the per unit resistance the per unit resistance equals to the actual value of the resistance divided by the base value of impedance the base value of the impedance can be written as V rated upon I rated and if you manipulate it you will get I rated into R equivalent divided by V rated if you multiply I rated in numerator and denominator you will get I rated square into R equivalent divided by V rated into I rated see I rated square into R equivalent see this circuit I rated square into R equivalent is the rated copper loss so I am going to write rated copper loss in place of numerator because I rated square into R equivalent is the rated copper loss because rated current is flowing and V rated into I rated is the base power so the actual value of the rated copper loss divided by the base power is the rated copper loss in per unit what is the meaning of rated rated means full load rated copper loss in per unit or in the other way you can say this is the full load copper loss in per unit so the per unit resistance of the transformer is equal to rated copper loss in per unit or the full load copper loss in per unit you can see the second test result in the second test result because the rated current is flowing on short circuit this loss is the rated copper loss so can we convert this rated copper loss in the per unit value see the actual value of the rated copper loss is 3.08 kilowatt so this is the actual value of the rated copper loss divided by the base power the base power is the rated power so rated power is 300 kVA so the actual value of the full load copper loss divided by the base power is the full load copper loss in per unit so full load copper loss in per unit is the per unit resistance of the transformer so in this way we have solved the third part now let us move to the fourth part in the fourth part we have to calculate the per unit leakage reactance to calculate the per unit leakage reactance 
I am going to write the per unit impedance in this way in the polar form the magnitude of the per unit impedance is 0 0.0573 angle cos inverse r upon z this is the value of r and this one is the value of z so you know the value of r and z put put this value of r and z here and you will get z per unit equals to 0 0.0573 angle 79.64 degrees If you convert this polar form into the rectangular form, you will get per unit impedance equals to 0 0.0103 plus J 0 0.0563. So compare the per unit impedance value with this equation and you will get the per unit reactance equals to 0 0.0563 per unit. Let me write it here, the value of theta equivalent. The value of theta equivalent is cos inverse r upon z. So theta equivalent equals to cos inverse r upon z equals to 79.64 degrees. So let us move towards the fifth part of the question. In the fifth part, we have to calculate the efficiency and regulation on full load at 0.8 power factor lagging. To calculate the efficiency at full load 0.8 power factor lagging, I am going to use this formula Vi cos phi divided by Vi cos phi plus total total loss at full load. See, because we have to calculate the efficiency at full load, because of the full load, I am going to write V into I as 1. Because we have to calculate the efficiency at full load, the meaning of full load is the multiplication of V into I will be 1 per unit. The value of cos phi is given in this question 0.8 divided by again Vi cos phi will be 1 into 0.8 plus total losses in per unit. Because I am, I am writing all the values in per unit. So I must write the value of total loss in per unit. So I have already calculated the rated loss in per unit equals to 0 0.0146. This is the total rated loss. So this is 0 0.0146. So put this value and you will get the efficiency at full load 0 0.8 lagging power factor equals to 98.21%. In the fifth part, also, we have to calculate the regulation on full load at 0.8 power factor lagging. To find out the voltage regulation, use this formula, Z per unit into cos theta equivalent minus phi. We have already calculated the value of the per unit impedance, which is equal to 0 0.0573 per unit. We know the value of theta equivalent, which is equal to 79.64 degrees. Because it is given in this question that we have to calculate the regulation at 0.8 power factor lagging, therefore the power factor angle will be cos inverse 0.8 which is equal to 36.87 degree and after solving this you will get regulation equals to 4.21%. Remember in this question. The transformer is connected in delta by star but we will not bother about the connection because we have solved the problem in the per unit system we have found the per unit impedance, per unit resistance and all these things we have got in the per unit system. See here, while calculating the efficiency, all these values are in per unit. This impedance is also in per unit. All the values are in per unit. So 
we will not bother about delta by star connected transformer it does not matter so this was the important point and i think you have understood this problem remember uh, i think i have forgot to uh, tell you that this total loss is written on full load this is the total loss at full load the value is 0 0.0146 already in the first part i have calculated the rated loss in per unit is 0 0.0146 so remember i have written this total loss at full load